Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is this creepy spider look. I thought this was very fitting for Halloween, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm just going in with a dark brown eyebrow pencil and I'm just doing a little sketch of the spider that I'm going to be creating here on this side of my eye. Now I wanted this to be pretty big and to take up most of the room on my face so I did bring this right across the nose which I did actually regret because it looked a little bit mangled but we rolled with it anyway but I did want this to look quite lifelike and quite real and quite realistic so I was making this as big as I possibly could because all the spiders right now are absolutely huge. Once I was happy with the shape that I had, I did just go in with this little fine detail liner brush and some black paint and I just went over all the detailing that I'd just previously done. Now with this, we did have to be extra careful because I didn't want the, the lines to be too thick so I was trying to make sure I was making them as thin as possible but as well as that, I did also want to do like some shadowing and some like little highlights and stuff to make it stand out. Now I'm just letting all that black paint set for a little bit and I moved on to doing the spider webs on the side of my face. This is pretty simple, it doesn't have to be neat as Halloween after all. Now I'm just going back in with that brow pencil and I'm just doing a little light kind of shadow behind it so it looks like the legs are 3D and I've got some shadowing behind them. Now I'm just going in with some white paint on another fine detail brush and I'm just doing little shadows and little highlights here on the spider. I do end up going in with a little metallic colour by Be Perfect. I can't actually remember the name of it at the moment but I will leave it all in the description and stuff for you guys. And I do end up highlighting with that as well just to give it that kind of glimmer, shimmer, little bit of sparkle to the spider and to the webs as well. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of shadow and I'm just sort of smoking out these webs a little bit, just giving it a little bit more of a kind of rustic effect. Now I'm just going back in with that eyebrow pencil and I'm just doing a very dark thick eyebrow just because I forgot all about this eyebrow because I didn't do the other side so I had to fill that in. Now I'm just going over this eye with a little bit of a dark purple shadow and I'm just smoking this out so it just looks really smoky and mysterious. Again you don't have to be neat with this, you're just basically blending it right out. Then I'm just adding this little glitter from Lindsay Douglas and I'm just putting that over the top of it. You guys know me, I've got to put some glitter and sparkle everywhere I go. And I'm just applying this lash to this side, I'm not applying any lashes to the spider side because I just wanted to keep it quite quite plain. I thought there was a lot of detail in it already so I didn't want to overdo it. And now I'm going in with that Be Perfect glitter liner. It's like ice cream or something like that. But I'm just going in with this. It's got a kind of reflex of like bluey pink depending on the kind of light. As you can see here it's kind of reflecting a little bit bluish. So it was giving that kind of icicle kind of effect to it so I really like this effect so that's why we added this. 
Now I'm just adding some gems here because you know me, I always overdo it. So we're just adding some gems here for a little bit of sparkle. And that's basically this look. I do go in with a little bit of the black base on the lips and I put a little bit of that glitter liner just to give it a little bit more effect. And that is that look. I hope you guys love it. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.